Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. This is the first in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the National 5 Physics course. Now I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions where you have the word or term on one side and the definition or the meaning on the other side. So let's get into it. The first definition is for a longitudinal wave, and a longitudinal wave is one where the particles vibrate along the same direction as the wave. Another way of saying this is that the particles will vibrate parallel to the direction of the wave or the wave energy. Next we have a transverse wave, and a transverse wave is one where the particles move at right angles, i.e. 90 degrees, to the direction of travel of the wave. Or another way of saying this is that the particles move perpendicular to the direction of the wave travel or the wave energy. Moving on we have the frequency of a wave, and frequency is defined as the number of waves per second or the number of waves passing a point each second. Next we have the period of a wave, and the period of a wave is defined as the time taken for one wave to pass a point. It is also known however as the inverse of the frequency, and that just comes from the equation for the period of a wave. And remember inverse just means 1 divided by something, so this is saying 1 divided by the frequency. Next we have diffraction for waves, so diffraction is the bending of waves through gaps or around obstacles. And lastly we have refraction for waves, so refraction is defined as the change in speed of light as it passes from one medium to another, for example from air to glass. And remember medium is just another word for material. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you liked the video give it one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.